Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to link images in WordPress. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So we have the Gutenberg editor and the classic editor and I will show you both. Let's start with the Gutenberg editor. So you will click on the plus icon to add an image block. You can either upload it or select one from your media library. I will select this flower. And now I will just click on the image and then click on this link icon over here. And I will type the link inside this field over here. For example, Google. Now, because I'm linking to an external website, I would like it to open in a new window. In order to do that, I will click on the settings icon and toggle this option to on. And now I can click on update and revisit the page to make sure it's working as expected. So let's refresh the page, we'll click on the image and Google will open up in a new window. If you are using the classic editor, click on the add image, select your image or upload it. And once you added it to the content, uh, click on it and then click on the link icon over here that will open this field where you will need to enter your custom URL, for example, google.com once again. And because it's an external link, we can click on the cog icon and open the link in a new window, just like so. Let's click on update and we will visit the page to make sure we can click on the image and being redirected to the website we entered. If you are using the text editor or the code editor, you will need to position your cursor to the left of the image tag and we will need to wrap the image with an A tag. An A is a link tag. Okay, and inside the A tag, we'll enter the attribute called href and inside the href attribute, we will enter our destination URL, which is Google or any other page. And don't forget to close the A tag at the end of the image to the right of the image tag. So it will only link the image and not all the other content uh, after it. Now this A tag will open the link in the same window. However, if you would like to open it in a different window, in a new window, we will need to add the target attribute to the right of the href attribute. And the content inside the target attribute will be underscore blank. So again, this is our opening A tag. We have two attributes, the link itself and whether to open it in a new window or not. Then save the changes, revisit the page and test the image to make sure it's working as expected. I will click on it and we can see we've been redirected to the external URL. If you are using the Elementor page builder, you can use the image widget to drag it to the canvas on the right, then click here to set your desired image. And over here inside the link options, change it to custom URL. You can enter the link over here. Again, it will be uh, google.com. And if you'd like to open it in a new window, just check this box and update the page. Then test the image, click on it, and you'll be redirected to Google. All right, guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding this process by leaving a comment down below. Please also like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.